Uh, Matt? Yeah. Up here. Yeah. <laughs> Up here, please. To the, in the other microphone. You got it. <clears throat> oh, Matt. Angela Bishop from Channel 10 Australia hey. over here. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. You mentioned 18 years since you were sort of up there doing the awards biz like this. Um, does that make it a bit emotional for you, first off? And secondly, do you think The Martian is a comedy? Well, no, it's a musical. <laughs> um, and I think that's what the 18-year gap was, was me working on my singing, um, which really is what brought me here tonight. Um, <clears throat> no, I think, uh, I don't think it, 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 it just gives me more of a context, um, uh, having made so many movies, you know, you, you work equal, equally hard on every movie and you, and you love them all. Yeah. You can't do it if, unless you absolutely love it. It's just a lot of work and, um, you know, and then the result is the result and you just don't know what the audience is going to do. And most of the time they don't show up. Um, some of the time, some of them show up, or people will come up and say, "Oh, I like that one," or I, you know. But it's really when when something like this happens, and and people really respond to the movie, and critics really respond to the movie, and there's that kind of perfect storm reaction. It's it's really it's great. Um, it doesn't make me feel any different about the movie. Um, I feel the same about it as I feel about all of them. I, I really do love them all, and all the people that I collaborated with to make all of them, but. Um, but I do know that this is not this is pretty rarefied air, and it's not a normal thing. So, um, 18 years later, I think it's yeah, it's it's to put it in context and be able to say, wow, this is great, and I'm going to smell the roses. Hey Matt, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, question uh, from the fans on social media: They wanted to know what you're going to do with your award when you get home tonight. Well, Ricky Gervais had some good ideas, I thought. Um, <laughs> No, I, uh, I'm actually uh, flying out to Las Vegas because um, <clears throat> I'm shooting tomorrow morning for uh, the new Jason Bourne movie. So uh, I'm handing it to my wife and she'll take it home because <laughs> uh, I'm because I'm going to be in a hotel tonight. Matt Rove McManus from Australia. Um, if you could go back and give advice to your 20 year old self, what would it be? You know, I, I'd probably give the same advice that I was given. I think that's that's one of the things that um, if I look at my life, I was the most lucky for getting, for having great uh, kind of grown-ups in my life, people who were very wise and who, um, you know, uh, encouraged me to just focus on work and not on any of the su superfluous stuff. Um, and yeah, I, I think I'd, I'd just reinforce the kind of things I was told at 20, and I think I'm, I'm lucky for having had that. I was wondering if you have read the Sean Penn interview with El Chapo and your thoughts on it, Matt. I haven't read it yet. Uh, I definitely plan to. I got it on my phone. I subscribed to Rolling Stone, so it's already been sent to me, and, uh, and I'll read it, but I was going to do it on the plane uh, tonight. But look, <clears throat> it's nothing new. Actors going and <clears throat> seeking out meetings like this, um, I don't want to throw any other actors under the bus, but I, but I know a lot of very, very serious actors and filmmakers who've been having meetings like this wow. forever. What happened? Did Stallone just walk in? <laughs> oh, Aaron Sorkin walked in. That's what happens when Aaron Sorkin walks in. Right. Um, but, uh, but no, so it's not, and, well, and writers for that matter who, uh, who take meetings like this, and it's part of, you know, what we do to do our job really well. And um, Sean somehow figured out that he had an audience, I assume, with uh, this person, and and uh, and I'm sure was pursuing something creatively, um, and and thought a meeting with him would be valuable. So he did it. Uh, congratulations over here. Um, I thought it was cute that you thanked your kids and gave them a shout out. You live in a house of all females. Yes. How involved are they in helping to get you ready for a big day like this? Uh, they're more interested in what Lucy's wearing, you know, um, with, uh, you know, the frozen stuff. And I mean, she's wearing this kind of lilac thing tonight, and it does look a little bit like something Elsa would wear. So 
Uh, so they were really into that. I'm kind of on my own in the corner, putting on a tuxedo. Thank you so much. Thank you. This way, please. That way, okay. Thanks, guys.